SAG-AFTRA President Fran Drescher has addressed her controversial selfie with Kim Kardashian that prompted backlash from union members ahead of the ongoing strike. Shed taken a break from contract talks with major Hollywood studios in order to fly to Italy to attend a glitzy Dolce and Gabbana show in Puglia, Italy early last week. During the starry soiree, Drescher, 65, snapped a photo with the 42-year-old Skims founder that later ended up on Kim's Instagram page, which is followed by over 360 million people. In a press conference Tuesday, the nanny star deemed it a publicity picture and insisted that her attendance at the event was strictly work-related. I had only met Kim seconds before that publicity picture was taken. It had nothing to do with being at a party or having fun. It was absolutely work, she began. She reminded members that she, like Kardashian, is a brand ambassador for Dolce & Gabbana. I was in hair and makeup for three hours a day, walking in heels on cobblestones, doing things like that, referring to the photo with Kim, which is work, not fun. She added, I am sure Kim would have rather been at her home in Malibu with her children, too. But, we work, that's what we do. Drescher also noted that she was constantly working and navigating three different time zones and made sure she participated in all necessary calls and video conferences, as notated by EU. So I think all the people standing behind me, stand behind me. Concluded Drescher, who received an applause from union members. During the Italian soiree last week, Drescher invited questions about just how involved she was in the negotiations after she and Kardashian were pictured beaming ear to ear in glamorous formal attire, including in photos the Kardashian star posted to her Instagram account. Drescher was pictured in a busty, strappy black dress, and her elegantly dark curls framed a striking splash of crimson across her lips. Kim was weighed down with an enormous jeweled necklace and she's stunned in a violet off-the-shoulder gown. My fashion icon, Kardashian wrote of Drescher, always on my mood board. I seriously love this woman. The oh-so-gorgeous at official Fran Drescher. Kardashian has plenty of experience on screen, and she has recently graduated from her reality TV origins to star in the upcoming season of Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk's anthology series American Horror Story. The reality star didn't do Drescher any favors when she shared another photo that showed the Spinal Tap actress wedged in between Kim and her mother Kris Jenner, while other stars including Helen Mirren, Angela Bassett and Kerry Washington joined in the festivities. Christian Bale and Anita were also reportedly among the guests, according to The Hollywood Reporter. The five-day event also included a concert put on by legendary singer Diana Ross. The connection to Kardashian was particularly unfortunate for Drescher, as SAG-AFTRA members have expressed solidarity with striking members of the Writers Guild of America, WGA. But Kardashian was reportedly seen crossing a picket line to continue film American Horror Story. Unless the bargaining table has moved to Italy, along with the dress code, this is a terrible look for a union president. Fleischman and Trouble creator Taffy Brodesser Agner opined on Twitter. Don't get me started on her friend here. She added. Some real let them eat cake vibes for the SAG AFTRA members who were marching alongside us WGA members just this morning. Jorge Rivera, the vice char of the Latinx writers commit for the WGA West Snipe. Did they push the deadline so she could attend a party in Italy? Many of those lambasting Drescher reposted the photo of her with Kardashian. Sources have told THR that Drescher had not been part of negotiations in person for weeks, though the publication noted that it is sometimes possible to join virtually via video chat platforms. A representative for the union said that Drescher had been in Italy for previously scheduled brand ambassador work. This was a commitment fully known to the negotiating committee, they claimed. She has been in negotiations every day either in person or via video conference.
President Drescher is managing a physically demanding schedule across three time zones, overseeing negotiations and working on location daily as well as managing her parents' needs in Florida. She is returning to the States and will be on the ground in L.A. tomorrow, and will continue to chair our negotiations. Deadline reported at the time that Drescher had not been home in L.A. since she flew to New York on June 29 for a Good Morning America appearance. USC professor and entertainment labor expert Stephen Ross told THR that Drescher's visit was bad optics, regardless of how involved she has been in negotiations. The president of any union should be there when there's a strike or the threat of a strike looming immediately. We don't know if she had commitments she couldn't get out of, but the optics are not good, he said. Nowadays, any kind of a conflict like this is a war in the press and optics, and so that was a misstep, added film historian Jonathan Kuntz. I don't think it'll have a serious impact on negotiations. We all have to be aware of appearances though. Actors have since taken to the picket lines after a strike was authorized by SAG-AFTRA last Friday. SAG-AFTRA's most recent contract expired on Wednesday night, July 12, at 11 to 59 p.m. The strike is over growing concerns of the use of artificial intelligence and streaming residuals. SAG-AFRTA which is the union representing over 160,000 actors, is on strike at the same time as WGA, which represents 11,000 writers. The last time both actors and writers were on strike together was in 1960, when Ronald Reagan was the Actors Guild president. WGA has been on strike since May 2, after the strike was authorized. Drescher showed her support and emphasized the unity among union members. We stand in solidarity in unprecedented unity. Our union and our sister unions and the unions around the world are standing by us as well as other labor unions, she began. Because at some point, the jig is up. She then spoke on the ever-changing business model in the industry and addressed actors' AI concerns. You cannot keep being dwindled and marginalized and disrespected and dishonored. The entire business model has been changed by streaming, digital, I. This is a moment of history that is a moment of truth. If we don't stand tall right now, we are going to be in trouble. We are all going to be in jeopardy of being replaced by machines and big business. Who cares more about Wall Street than you and your family? The star concluded. Drescher has directly slammed studio heads like Disney CEO Bob Iger, who she recently called tone-deaf and repugnant after he said that actors and writers aren't being realistic in their expectations. She responded to Iger's comments in a Variety interview on Friday, comparing them to a land baron of a medieval time and arguing that the 72-year-old should be locked up. I found him terribly repugnant and out of touch, and positively tone deaf, Drescher said. If I were that company, I would lock him behind doors and never let him talk to anybody about this.